In the very near future, will the older generations be looking at young, healthy, optimized individuals as donors for bone marrow, blood, and hormones? Will there be a whole industry created around young, healthy, optimized individuals who purposely document how they are maintaining a healthy body and mind? And will we even be creating facilities for these young, optimized individuals to live in so that way they can stay active and reduce any possible negative effects that is coming from society and the environment? In a new study shared by Dr. Rhonda Patrick, scientists have found that transplanting the bone marrow from young laboratory mice into old mice prevented cognitive decline, which helped preserve their memories and their learning ability. In the study, 18-month-old laboratory mice received bone marrow transplants from either 4-month-old mice or mice their own age. Six months later, both transplanted groups underwent standard laboratory tests of activity level and learning, plus spatial and working memory. Mice that received young bone marrow outperformed mice that received old bone marrow, and they also outperformed a control group of old mice that did not get transplants. The recipients of young bone marrow retained more connections in the brain, or what is more known as synapses between neurons in the hippocampus than did recipients of old bone marrow, even though they had the same number of neurons. Synapses are critical to brain performance. If further research confirms similar processes in people, the findings could provide a pathway for designing therapies to slow progression of neurodegenerative diseases including Alzheimer's that affect millions of Americans. We are entering an era in which there will be more elderly people in the population along with an increased incidence of Alzheimer's diseases putting a huge burden on the health system. Our work indicates that cognitive decline in mice can be significantly reduced by simply providing young blood cells, which act on the brain to reduce the loss of synapse relating to aging. So world, what is your opinion on the ethics of this? Do you think that it's wrong to take the bone marrow or the blood or the hormones of a young, healthy, optimized individual and use it for your own optimization? Personally, I really don't see a negative to farming human beings for their blood or their bone marrow as long as those individuals who are involved are doing it voluntarily, they are aware that they are involved in this, and they're getting rewarded for it. Along with this, if we were to start enacting this in society and this became a common thing, I believe that those who would be donating their bone marrow or blood or whatever they're donating should be at the top of their mental and physical game. And I think those who are receiving those donations should almost be ensuring and providing the best spaces, the best opportunities, the best facilities to allow those people to be optimized and to be at the top of their game. I believe those individuals these young people who are trying to optimize so that we, we could be using their product should almost have less stress going on in their life. Their work habits, all these things that are going on that negatively affect us as human beings, we should be trying to make sure that that's not happening to them. So that way they can, again, be providing the best product that they can for the older generations. I know for myself that if I were to be injecting or inputting something into my body that I believe is going to help to optimize myself that is literally taken from another human being, I would be willing to pay more, I'd be willing to do more to ensure that that person is optimized as well and that they are at the peak of their mental and physical gain. So what do you guys think about this? I really want to know your guys' opinion in the comment section below there, so go down and leave me a comment. If you could live another 5 to 10 years and still be relatively there mentally and physically and still be able to engage and, and be yourself, would you take the bone marrow from a young, healthy, optimized person? If you're a young person out there in the world, would you donate your bone marrow if it meant you could get paid for it? Now, what if you had to stay in a very specific facility and you had to do regular mental and physical training? Would you still do it? Would you be willing to sacrifice the freedom of your life in order to be a more healthy, optimized individual which could allow you to live longer in life and get paid to do it as well? 
Let me know your guys' opinions. Let me know, would you accept bone marrow? Would you donate bone marrow? Would you be an experiment for the world? Would you be an optimized human being and donate for the older generations? Or if you were an older generation, would you accept the bone marrow and blood and hormones of a healthy, young, optimized individual? And what is your ethics? What is your opinion on this whole thing? I really wanna know your guys' opinions. I want your feedback, so go leave it in the comment section below and on your way down there, make sure you go smash that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am the Hungarian Experiment.